Most of us have leased a home or apartment at some point. Some of us have even broken our leases and perhaps been surprised by how much is owed upon the breach of a lease contract. In the 1981 North Carolina case of Isby v. Cruz, we examine one such scenario in the context of a damages dispute. Dr. H. Deniston Cruz leased from Dr. Edward Isby office space for use as a doctor's office and kidney dialysis center. The lease was for a period of five years and prohibited subleases and assignments, as well as use of the space for alternate purposes, without Isby's consent. Almost four years into the lease period, Cruz vacated the space and requested Isby's permission to sublease the property to a medical supply company. Isby refused to allow the sublease, and Cruz stopped paying rent. Esby then filed suit in trial court for breach of the lease contract and sought to recover damages equal to one month's unpaid rent. After determining that Cruz breached the lease for failure to pay rent, the court found Esby was entitled to judgment as a matter of law and entered summary judgment for him. Cruz appealed, alleging that Esby failed to satisfy his duty to minimize losses.